A solar storm is like a big space anomaly when the sun sends out a gust of wind and other radiation stuff that shakes up the magnetic field around Earth. If a sudden flash of light erupts from the sun, which we call a solar flare, and it hits the Earth, it could plunge our world into darkness with no electricity, no phone calls, and no internet. Everything will be gone in an instant throwing us back into the Stone Age. But what makes these solar storms so mighty? How could such a thing happen now? Why should we be worried? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of these powerful solar storms and their potential impact on our lives. The answers might surprise you. Have you heard of the solar cycle? One solar cycle takes 11 years to complete, and with each cycle, it sends out a wave of energy. This is known as the solar cycle. Right now, we're in the 25th solar cycle since we started counting in 1755. And guess what? The next big cycle is expected in 2024, this year. Now, you see things like freckles on the sun's face, but cooler and darker. Those are called sunspots. They are not the ones causing the solar flares, but they're often around when one happens. Why? Because they're full of magnetic energy. Imagine a rubber band being twisted and twisted until, snap. That's what happens with the magnetic fields near sunspots. They snap and realign, and in doing so, they release a huge burst of energy. This is a solar storm. But when a solar storm happens, it doesn't hit us right away. There's a delay. So, you might not notice anything at first. But when it arrives, everything changes. First, you might see more auroras, the beautiful lights in the sky, all around the world. They're caused by the solar particles interacting with our atmosphere. But while they're pretty to look at, they're also a sign that a solar storm is happening. And that's not all good news. Primarily, a solar storm messes with our geomagnetic field. This can make our technology go haywire. Satellites, GPS, radio transmissions, and even our cell phones can become unreliable. Communication around the world becomes a game of chance. And if it's a really big storm, with multiple solar flares, things could get even worse. So, while we enjoy the beauty of the auroras, we also brace for the storm. The danger isn't just on Earth. Astronauts in space are in the direct line of fire. Without the protection of special shields on their spacecraft, they're exposed to intense solar radiation. This could lead to radiation sickness and even long-term health problems like cancer. And if that's not scary enough, imagine being cut off from mission control completely during a solar storm. Now, let's fast forward a few days. You're still struggling with your cell reception when the sun launches another attack. This time, it's not just energy, but giant clouds of hot plasma and electromagnetic radiation. This is what we call a coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME is like a solar bomb. It's a huge explosion of plasma and electromagnetic radiation from the sun. When it hits, it can cause violent storms in our geomagnetic field. If that happens, life on Earth could change forever. In fact, in 2012, we had a close call when a powerful CME passed by Earth's orbit. But that was nothing compared to what happened back in 1859. A solar storm, known as the Carrington Event, hit Earth. It caused chaos, destroying telegraph communications. But back then, we were able to recover relatively quickly. Telegraph lines were simple and could be fixed fast. But what about today? We rely so much on technology. It's not just about a few glitches or a spotty signal. A solar storm could be so severe that it could cause all our technology to stop working. Now, that's a chilling thought. The sun suddenly bursts, sending a huge wave of energy towards Earth. At first, it just messes with our radios and satellites, but they're still okay. Then, a storm of tiny particles hits Earth's magnetic field, which could break the satellite's electronics. Our phones and internet start to glitch, hinting that something bigger is coming. After about half a day or maybe a few days, a cloud of plasma, like a fiery fog, reaches Earth. It hits a satellite first, the one that NASA uses to warn us about space weather. But even with this warning, we'd only have about half an hour before the plasma cloud wraps around our magnetic field, causing a huge magnetic storm on Earth. If you're flying in a plane when this happens, the GPS would stop working, and the pilot would have to find their way without it. This magnetic storm would be so powerful that it could melt the transformers in our power grids, causing a worldwide blackout. Suddenly, everything that needs electricity stops working. Lights, phone chargers, 
laptops, fridges, heaters, ATMs, credit cards, and even water pumps. Services that rely on the internet, like banks, transport, and social media, would go offline, leaving everyone feeling lost and cut off. Without power, it becomes much harder, or even impossible, to treat some patients in hospitals. The power outage and broken technology could lead to many people losing their lives. The sun's outburst and the resulting magnetic storm could last from a few hours to several days. But fixing all the damage wouldn't be quick or easy. It could take weeks or months to repair the power grids, communications, and technology. And if we don't have enough spare parts, rebuilding our infrastructure could take even longer. It's a scary thought, isn't it? All over the world, people can't talk to anyone outside their neighborhood. Everything we need to live, like food and medicine, stops coming because the supply chains have broken down. It's a tough time, but we don't give up. We start to rebuild. A huge storm from the sun caused all this. It was a disaster at first, but we got through it. Now, it's just a small part of our history. But could this really happen? It's hard to say. Yes, storms from the sun could hit Earth. But, our gadgets and power systems are built to handle these kinds of things. Plus, NASA is working on ways to see these storms coming and give us a heads up. So, all we can do is keep an emergency kit ready with bandages, can food, and water. Buy devices that protect against power surges and unplug your electronics if a solar storm hits. Think about having your own power supply, like a generator or solar panels. If we do all this, we should be back to normal in no time. So, are we truly prepared for the unpredictable power of space? How would you cope if the next solar storm hit Earth? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more eye-opening content. Thanks for watching.